Shocking allegations tonight from a family over what they say happened to their young daughter on a school bus. They say administrators forced her to change out of her gym shorts in front of other students. New at 10, News Channel 5's Jason Lamb traveled to Franklin County tonight to find out how the school district's responding. It was right here at Franklin County High School last Thursday as school buses were loading up to take kids home when the family involved says they couldn't believe what happened to their teenage daughter. But tonight, the school district says it's done nothing wrong. They're just as outraged. 15 year old Alana Diaz says she told her mom Tiffany what happened as soon as she got home. When she told me the story, I, be I believe her. You know, I believe every word of it. They say Alana had just left her last class of the day, PE, when she got on a bus wearing her gym shorts. So these were the shorts. That's when they say a Franklin County High assistant principal told her she was breaking the school dress code. She said, well, this is still school property and you still got to be in dress code. Do you have to change out? But Alana says the administrator was blocking the bus aisle. She never said like, uh, come on, let's go inside and change with her body language was just like, you know, go on, go ahead, do it. Alana said she felt the assistant principal was forcing her to change out of her gym shorts on the bus. So she says she did. She was like, was that so hard and stuff like that? And then I was like, well, obviously it was. I just humiliated myself in front of a bunch of high schoolers. The Franklin County School District told News Channel 5 the administrator did ask Alana to get off the bus. They say she refused, and then she took off her gym shorts right then and there. But Alana's mom, who filed a police report over this, says if that were the case, then why, according to her, was she never contacted from the school first? Why didn't I get a phone call? Why wasn't she punished? Like, your crazy kid just got naked on the bus. School has been really, really rough, you know, the looks and everything. For now, Alana is still going to school, trying to move on from last week's incident on the bus. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. Jason, thank you. The Franklin County Sheriff's Office responded to the complaint. Alana's parents say they hope deputies will look at any surveillance video that may have captured just what happened on that bus.